Welcome to our lesson about the 2D fillet. We've got the fillet and chamfer tools located right here. Let's select the sketch fillet. Let's uncheck dimension each fillet for now. And let's enter a value of 10 millimeters for the fillet radius. Now just select the corners to which you want to apply the fillet right in the graphic area and click accept. SolidWorks added three fillets to the design tree and the three fillets are visible in the graphic area as well. SolidWorks has also applied equal relations. One dimension displays. Click once on the dimension to launch the dimension property manager and from there you can change the dimension value. Let's go to the property manager and change to 20 millimeters for example or just double click in the graphic area to open the modified dimension dialog window. And let's undo. You can also click Ctrl Z a couple times. Or you can expand this arrow here and select how many steps back you want to undo. Let's undo one more. Now let's unselect everything. And let's select the sketch fillet again. We'll select our three corners. There's the preview in yellow. Let's dimension each fillet now by checking this box and click accept. Now we see a dimension for each fillet. This lets us easily modify them one at a time. Okay, let's undo. To show you the next option, I'm going to need to constrain my rectangle. Let's control select this point and the origin point and apply a coincident relation. Smart dimension. Let's accept the default value and click OK. Same thing here. OK. And right click and select to close the tool. Now activate the fillet command. And let's make our selections. Click yes to close that warning box and make our second selection. Let's leave keep constrained corners unchecked. And let's click Accept. As you see, in placing our fillets, we lost one of our dimensions. Our sketch is no longer fully defined. Let's undo that sketch fillet. Two corners of my entity are already pre-selected. Let's activate the sketch fillet tool. Here's the warning, yes. Let's check Keep Constrained Corners this time, and OK. SolidWorks added two fillets, and our rectangle remains fully constrained. Let's accept to exit the dimension tool and activate the sketch fillet command again. I'm going to select this line this time and this line. Notice that where you select the second line is where you're going to apply the fillet. Let's accept and let's undo. Activate the fillet command again. One more thing here. In order to create fillets, the lines don't have to actually intersect. Let's accept our changes and exit the sketch. And this concludes our lesson about the fillet command.